There are so many opportunities in terms of the relationship between fintechs and banks. Um, you know, in a lot of cases, fintechs have really solved specific problems that that banks, you know, have challenges solving. They have products that meet specific needs that they are really focused on. Banks, on the other hand, have scale, brand, and distribution, um, which those two things together could be a magical combination. The challenge is, is how do you do it? And how do you make use of the bank's scale, distribution, and brand, you know, combined with the, with the fintech's hyper-focus and, uh, and agile ability to solve a, a customer problem? There are a lot of things that banks have that are very challenging for us to do. Um, get lots of customers is one of them. Um, uh, deal with regulation um, and build and understand that kind of core infrastructure. Um, and then that said, there's also a lot of things that, uh, that, that we can do that are more challenging for banks. And I think that synergy is very powerful. For us, they're partners and we collaborate. And people always ask, well, are you competing with banks? And the simple answer is no. We're offering services that some specific banks may not already have. Uh, so we, we view it as complementary. We also view it as an extension of what they're doing today in terms of offering uh, financial services. So we view ourselves as a tech fin company, not necessarily just a fintech, where it's really technology that's driving financial services. And so we view it as complementary. What we're really seeing is that fintech is really evolving much more quickly to solve day-to-day -day needs than banks are. So we need to learn from fintech companies, we need to understand how they are evolving to serve the customer, and we need to collaborate and partner with the best of them in order for banks of size to remain in the industry. There is no need only to come up with proprietary solutions. There are so many good solutions out there, so why reinventing the wheel, you know? Why not partnering up? Why not adopting those solutions? Why not creating, instead of the solution itself, creating an infrastructure that is allowing to access very easily and distribute it into your existing customer base? The biggest challenges are on both sides of uh, this collaboration. On one side, you'll have to explain the fintechs that, um, you know, we're not a lab in which they can experiment to the max. We're dealing with real customers, with real customer information. So whenever we release something, it can't be just a trial uh, uh, because we have a brand to protect, a promise to protect. On the other side, the challenge is also on the internal side. Uh, clearly, you know, if you're an established bank, um, uh, motivating your people to collaborate with fintechs sometimes is difficult uh, from many different angles. First, fintechs work much faster. Uh, they're much more agile. And therefore, you have to change the culture yourself. So one of the biggest challenges that we've faced when working with the banks is that there are so many disparate pockets of interest and so many different uh, areas to focus on throughout the bank. And we have to be sure that we're finding the right relevant um, folks to champion working with Plaid or building whatever new experience it is in the specific pocket of the bank that we need to, to work with, but also are communicating to the other pockets of the bank so that no one's surprised. As you can imagine, there's a lot of constituents that uh, have a lot of different points of view. Um, and getting a big bank to do anything important um, has to, to kind of appease all those constituents. So for us, it's, it's setting realistic expectations and then being sure that we're able to communicate effectively both with the group that we're working with and with everyone else. Understanding the fintech uh, and their culture is is absolutely important. Um, partnering with a fintech who understands you know bank regulations and processes and has some experience there is also important. Painting the vision in order to in order to, to get the idea into the bank, I think, is really really important. But then decompose that into something where there's a tangible and immediate next step, and, and a next step that that drives forward the agenda of the bank. I think from our side, um, we focus a lot on kind of communication and clarity, simplicity, and making sure that we're speaking the bank's language, um, which I would say a lot of startups don't always do. 
Um, and then we also have realistic expectations where we treat the banks as our partners and we're excited to work with them and help them better serve their consumers uh, and make sure that everything that we're doing is optimized to work very well with the financial institution. Um, but we also have to have the realistic expectation that it takes a bank a while to do something new. So if we're thinking about selling them a product or we're helping them launch a new experience, um, we have to understand that there are the relevant hoops to jump through on their side and that we have to then play along in order to be helpful to them. When you get people from different cultures and backgrounds and experiences, you must have the higher purpose of what you're trying to do for consumers because that brings them together. Understanding that we're both bringing useful skills to the table, right? So fintechs have done some really cool things around ease of use, right? Simplicity in the front end. Banks have built long-term relationships, right? And a strong network and webs, highly secure and safe to, do, to, to transact all over the world, right? You bring those two things together, you got something very valuable. And I, and I think partly it's recognizing that together you can probably create something better than you could separately. One of the rules is never try to incorporate startup into your banking structure because you are going to kill them. The second one is always look for solutions that are complementary to your banking value proposition and they are just coming with amazing technologies that will take you years to build yourself. And the third one, always try to test the adoption and experiment with the customers. We're in the biggest time of change in financial services. That's why all these startups, these hundreds and thousands of fintechs um, are popping up. Um, but equally, it's actually that inflection point where banks are starting to understand that re they really need to get innovation fast. So actually, we're going to see a lot more collaboration. We already see a lot more fintechs beginning as B2B plays as, instead of pure B2C plays. That's definitely the way we've moved. Um, so I think you know, you're going to see a lot of change within the bank and a lot of third parties coming in and working with banks, which really can only drive uh, efficiencies in the, the whole financial system and actually create better outcomes for customers.